Hello everyone, Creative Fun here back again with another video and this time we're in the Mirage and this is going to be a quick tutorial on INS alignment and how to enter INS waypoint into the Mirage. Uh, now I know there's a couple of videos out there but I'm custom making this one for one of my squad members in the Dagger Squadron Tail Shopper, this is for you. Uh, just so you can have as a reference for future training operations. So let's get into the cockpit and have a look around. Now the Mirage has a fairly advanced INS international navigation system, however it has some drawbacks. Uh, primarily it is not GPS aided which means that it does create some errors over time so please be aware of that, uh, that the, the longer you fly the more incorrect the waypoints will be or the more off they will be. Uh, this is going to be a very basic tutorial so we're going to only going to have a look at starting up the navigation system and aligning it and then entering waypoints. Now the first thing you need to do is to start the battery and you do not need to start up the aircraft to fill around with the navigation system uh, so don't worry about that. What you can do however is that you can uh, activate ground uh, power. So we're going to do that. Well, ground electric power on. We're just going to wait until uh, there we go. Uh, once you have the ground electric power uh, like that, uh, it doesn't drain the battery uh, because if you need to program an entire flight plan, you need to align it. It's quite a couple of minutes that you need to have run your aircraft on the battery power, so it's much better to turn on the ground electric power for extended use of the aircraft on ground. Uh, the ground electric power adds some additional uh, functionality as well because it powers mo most of the aircraft systems. It allows you to access your uh, heads down display and all its available information. It allows you to turn on certain lights, fiddle with the radio uh, and the other systems in the aircraft, even turning on the HUD and RVR and so on. Uh, a few things that the battery power does not uh, cover. Uh, so please bear that in mind if you are going to use the aircraft uh, for a while on the ground, turn on the ground electric power and then keep uh, fiddling about. You do not need to start the engine or waste any fuel. Uh, so let's zoom down here and have a closer look at the INS panel. Uh, for convenience I'm going to turn on the lighting here do, do, do like that so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Now the first thing we need to do is to align the INS. Uh, in most servers and missions the INS is pre-aligned. There's a, a feature or a function uh, you can add when you generate a mission or start up your own aircraft in a single player mission where the INS is already pre-aligned. This is to save time because you're literally just sitting down doing absolutely nothing while the INS is loading and of course that's a waste of time uh, for some people. So that feature is uh, most often enabled in, in most servers but if it's not and you require to align uh, your uh, INS or you're in here for the full experience uh, you can follow this simple step to align in uh, INS. First go in here to our INS mode selector and switch on to ALN. ALN. Uh, this little uh, align button or light here will start flashing. Press the VAL button here and then you can switch this little knob here, which is the INS operational mode, to STS, which I believe stands for status. It will show you the status of the INS aligning. Now this is going to take uh, roughly 8 minutes for it to fully align. And uh, yeah, uh, so for your convenience, I am going to cut this a little bit short so you don't have to sit here for 8 minutes watching uh, these numbers tick down. Uh, so we are in the first stage of INS alignment, which is highly inaccurate. However, it will give you like a ballpark uh, navigation system. Uh, and this little green light here, I believe it's a PRET. And we can probably zoom in a little bit on that. Yes, PRET, PRET. And uh, it basically tells you that your uh, system is sort of aligned. But uh, this is just oh, not three stages, four stages apparently. So this is not... We're not really done just yet, so we're going to keep uh, moving on through the stages here. And there we go. So what you just saw there is the number, uh, as you might have seen, I sped up the simulation a bit since I'm in single player mode here. But it just counts down and when this reaches 000, zero, zero uh, your ILNS is fully aligned. Uh, so you can then, once it's fully aligned, 
and this uh, light has stopped blinking, it indicates that your INS is fully aligned. Uh, you can go and uh, move the INS uh, operational mode uh, back to M and then switch your INS mode selector to NAV. So with an INS fully aligned and ready to be used, uh, we can now enter our own waypoints. Now if we check our Let's see here. If we check our kneeboard here, you can see we have entered zero waypoints, so we really don't have any waypoints for this aircraft. Uh, uh, so let's say that we want to enter a waypoint, maybe we want to fly around Poti and then land on Senaki Koki. Please be advised though that the Miraz uses uh, the, long, uh, the longitude, latitude, uh, or rather the latitude, uh, longitude uh, in decimal form, uh, not in minutes and seconds. So we're going to go into the F10 map here and we're going to get, give ourselves some uh, latitude longitude coordinates and uh, see if we cannot do something with that. So uh, please uh, take a look to the top left corner here. You get the um, uh, north and east uh, coordinates as well as the elevation of ground, which is really useful if you are going to do some sort of ground attack. It's very good to have the exact uh, altitude of that. Uh, we're going to make a simple uh, pattern here. We're going to go to Poti and then we're going to land at Snaki Koki. So first we're going to go at uh, Poti here and get ourselves some coordinates for that. So I'm just going to put, point my cursor somewhere around the middle of Poti and then I'm going to read what it says up here. Before we get started though, I do want to give everyone a small tip. Go into your settings panel, uh, click adjust controls. Uh, go up here and select Autopilot Navigation INS and then check out the PC and buttons. These are the buttons for your, uh, this is the navigation or INS systems buttons that you see over here. And uh, what you can do is you can actually program your numpad to uh, correspond to all the buttons on your INS. Uh, this will uh, make uh, data entry much quicker, especially if you're flying and you need to do this. I also uh, bound some of my numpad keys to different types of buttons like uh, destination, I have clear, I have uh, prep button and I also have the INS enter button. So these buttons that you regularly use to uh, enter waypoints into the computer. It's very convenient and it's much faster than trying to press them one by one with your mouse. So before we enter uh, any waypoints or do anything else, we're going to put this uh, little uh, INS parameter selector to LG, which will allow us to set the longitude and latitude coordinates. We're then going to press prep, select the waypoint we want to edit. And if the waypoint is empty, it's going to show up as 0, 0, 0, 0. And if it's already an existing waypoint, it's going to show you the coordinates of that waypoint. Uh, now to proceed, all we have to do is to first uh, tell the navigational computer uh, whether we want to edit the north or east waypoint and then uh, go on with the coordinates. So if we want to select the left uh, parameters, which is either north or south, usually, you press plus one and you will see that uh, you will get the lines here and the N and S there. Now we have to select hemisphere and we're going to select the north on number two. So first plus one and then two. And this is the one thing I had a lot of problem with remembering which order to push these buttons to get the correct input parameters. <clears throat> but once you're here, uh, all you have to do is to enter the coordinates. So we're gonna do that. And now I'm gonna use my numpad to enter the coordinates. And it's gonna be uh, north uh, 4208. And we had 916, but we only have two numbers to enter here. So we have to round up, so it'll be nine two and once you enter the parameter you press INS boom and the red uh, signal disappears here <clears throat> that means that you've entered uh, the north uh, waypoint or north coordinates if we want to enter the right side or edit the right side of our uh, navigational coordinates we press press plus three so uh, plus one for left and plus three for right and we have all the lines there now and then we have to select uh, if it's east or west we're editing and you select press number six because it's east if you are i believe in the uh, nevada map uh, i think it's west actually so please be aware of that make sure you have the right east or west so we're going to select east and uh, now it will allow us to enter the coordinates 
<coughs> so our first number here for the uh, east coordinates is 41. Uh, but as you can see here, there's three digits up here. So we have to punch in 0, 4, 1, 0, 4, 1, and then 4, 0, and then it's 6, 5, 0. Oh, so we can just punch in 6, 5 here. And then we will enter the correct coordinates. So please be wise that there's three numbers here, but generally in the Caucasus map, you only need two numbers for the first uh, section of the east coordinates. So that's why you have to enter 0 first, so you get the right amount of numbers. Press INS again, and we have now entered uh, the waypoint. We're also going to edit the altitude. So we're going to click this one down, INS Permit Selector to ALT for altitude. And then we're going to enter the altitude. Uh, now uh, to the left side here we have feet, and to the right side we have meters. Uh, so it, depending on which uh, format you know the uh, altitude, you want to edit the correct uh, uh, place here. So if you want to edit the feet, you press plus one. And if you want to edit meters, you press, press plus three. So let's press plus one. And before you start entering numbers, you also have to tell if you are editing below or above sea level. So you press plus one, and you, press, you press plus for sea le above sea level and minus for below sea level. In this case, we are actually right on the sea level. So we're going to pl plus, uh, press plus here. And then uh, just punch in the zeros. And then we're gonna press INS. Okay, so once you've entered your waypoint, uh, you can cycle them uh, via pressing the desk button and then selecting a waypoint, let's say 01. You can see here your uh, heading indicator will, uh, your HSI will show you the distance and the heading for that uh, waypoint. And of course, you can do the same with waypoint two that we entered, 02, and it will show you the distance and heading you need to travel to each waypoint. You can also bind these to either your keyboard or um, HOTAS uh, with the next and previous waypoints to quick switch between them. And your destination waypoint is uh, located here on the zero, uh, on, the, on the right side of these two numbers here, close to the desk button. So that is it for this uh, simple INS tutorial. Uh, I hope it was uh, interesting and uh, educational. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, uh, check me out on uh, Twitter at Real Creative Fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.